Hello, friends. I'm Andre, product designer and co-founder of DeepWork Studio, a fully distributed product design and innovation company. And today I'll show you something really cool, which is called Meeting Legos that will make you run meetings super fast and efficient. Follow me. Meeting Legos is actually a super simple tool. I wanted to create a framework that allows you to create meeting agendas and structures before you run the meeting or workshop in a super simple way without a lot of effort. So what you can see here is a whiteboard on Miro with a lot of little modules. And essentially what you want to put together a structure for your meeting, just the same way as if you would put together an, an agenda. So if you look here, I have a couple of examples. So for instance, for a team right perspective or a remote lighting decision jam. And the idea is that every time you run a meeting, you want to have specific things that you want the team to go through specific processes, specific modules almost. So if you look at the very first one, for instance, it's about brainstorming positives. So this is an exercise that you would do to get everybody to just brainstorm the good things. The next one is brainstorm negatives. So same thing, you would basically brainstorm things that you think negative and then work with them in an individual frame. So that if you know what your outcome is for the meeting, and let's say you just want to run the team retrospective and analyze what went well, what went wrong, and then maybe see if there's some actionable steps after this, uh, you could basically take these elements and then drag them into a horizontal linear flow. So what you have here is then, for instance, for the team retrospective, never outlined it with uh, descriptions. You would start off with brainstorming positives, then brainstorm negatives, uh, you would vote on them and then brainstorm solutions for the negatives, vote on them, prioritize, and that's it. Then you have a really good visual layout on how the solutions could work. And if you want to go further, you could go into like an effort impact matrix or uh, actionable steps. So everything about this is super modular and you can put it together any way you want. If you want to use traditional frameworks, you can use, a, you can put together a design sprint. You can put together a design sprint that's modified for something specific. You can put together a strategy sprint. You can put together basically anything you like and just visually see and arrange it any way you think is right. And that's basically what I wanted to do. What I would recommend is going through the examples yourself so you understand the flow and how it works. Really read through the instructions and then follow along as they are laid out. And then you understand the principles because that's the most important part. Once you understand the principle of how this note and vote works, you can put together meetings by yourself. So there is a little bit of a learning curve. But again, the easiest bit is just go through the examples with your team and you'll learn really quickly. And then you can basically go ahead and do it on your own. So put together your own meeting process, meeting schedule. And the way you do it is just by taking those and moving them on these little handles on the very top. And you can actually move them all the way to the bottom. So I basically put a thing here that says add modules here. So you start off with one thing, then I don't know, you do a little bit of voting. Voting is red. Then you prioritize. And then you move in basically that way so that when the meeting actually starts, the entire team can start off and do these step by step so that you know exactly what you're going to time, how long every exercise takes, and you always progress. Another thing that I should mention is that you have the workspaces here on the left. I usually use them as individual places so you can give your team a specific workspace to work basically kind of anonymously. So obviously it's all on the whiteboard, but it's their personal space and they can write things down that they want to write, but then only share the ones that they feel comfortable with sharing. So that's basically it. There's some instructions here on the top left and you can go through them and they guide you through the very first use. But it's going to be actually super simple once you just run through the examples. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate sending me an email. It's uh, Andre with EJ at the end and then at deepwork.studio. Uh, I'm always there for you. I'm helping whenever I can. You can also look me up on LinkedIn and send me a message. So have a beautiful day and uh, I hope to see you soon.